Good morning, everybody. My name is Dan Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out on this Friday morning with a scripture reading from 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14, through chapter 4, verse 5. I hope to come to you soon, but I am writing these instructions to you, so that, if I am delayed, you may know how one ought to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and bulwark of the truth. Without any doubt, the mystery of our religion is great. He was revealed in flesh, vindicated in spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among Gentiles, believed in throughout the world, taken up in glory. Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will renounce the faith by paying attention to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons, through the hypocrisy of liars whose consciences are seared with a hot iron. They forbid marriage and demand abstinence from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God's good, and nothing is to be rejected, provided it is received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by God's word and by prayer. That is our scripture reading this morning. Please join me now for a time together in prayer. Let's now pray together. Dear Lord, we offer our prayers today for the needs of others and we commit ourselves to serving them. We especially pray for those people who are sick, hungry, lonely, or poor, for the ones closest to us in the cities, neighborhoods where we live, for those afar in other countries, for peace and fairness for all your people, for all God's creatures, for clean air, water, and soil, and for the work of the whole church to show and tell the good news of your Son, Jesus. For all these things we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a good day today.